bit. So as we know, your selections uh, passed, and now we need to comb a bit. It was very hectic night, but actually, guys, it was a very good day to trade, and I hope that you have made a lot of pips after the analysis that I put today. It was a euro dollar analysis. And contrary to maybe most of uh, analysts out there, I actually gave you the analysis that was good for more than 100 pips if you took POC rejection. So this was the analysis, and, I'm, and uh, at least uh, these elections uh, will uh, be known as, uh, I mean, this, for me, this was much, much better to trade than Brexit from a trader perspective and uh, sorry again for being late uh, with uh, with this post about webinar because I totally forgot I was so much into elections and all these things that might happen so I forgot to put actually the webinar on the website but here it is now guys so today we will talk about trend lines and channels so we will actually calm a bit, we will take some rest and enjoy these tips and tricks for charting trend lines and channels. Before I begin, as always, our standard is disclaimer, explaining that online education materials are available by Admiral Marcus Estonia for a global audience. And Admiral Marcus Ukeltid takes no responsibility for information accuracy. So this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market. By accepting the risk, you're also proceeding further with me. And finally, this is me, and this is today's agenda. So trend lines, channels, and of course, guys, live trading examples. That is very important for us to see, okay? live trading examples. We will do this today and I will show you how you can actually uh, benefit from a proper trend line charting because a lot of traders simply cannot draw proper trend lines. Now before we proceed with uh, our live slides and live charts, well let me tell you that uh, we have different types of trend lines. Okay, so the first type that we usually use, and you will usually see that heavily in my analysis, it's so-called inner trend line. Okay, inner trend line. Inner trend line is a trend line that has already been broken, but is very valid to our analysis, because that trend line reflects the break, the divergence of both buyers and sellers on a particular time frame. So inner trend line is something what you really need to know of because when you master inner trend lines you will see that it provides you with a good confluence for trading certain forex pairs. Now we also have intraday trend lines, intraweek trend lines and intramont trend lines. Intraday trend line is a trend line that is valid for one to three days. Intraweek trend line is usually valid from nine from seven to nine days. And intramont trend line is usually valid for let's say approximately twenty eight days or couple of months if we can connect month price action month old price action with a trend line then that will be called an intramont trend line okay now guys i will show you that on live chart okay just to respond question okay yeah so here you will see actually we will go to live chart and here guys you will see how it looks okay for example we will take a look at euro dollar okay euro dollar we can use euro dollar chart for this 
So euro dollar, for example, daily chart. It doesn't matter. You need to know that intra day trend line or intra month trend line or intra week trend line. It doesn't matter. It they all can be inner trend lines. Why? Because inner trend line is independent of any time frame. You can chart an inner trend line on every time frame. You just need to connect two most important points. Okay, so from perspective of daily breakdown or top-down analysis, this can be a daily inner trend line. So pay attention how I did it. Uh, we will actually do it like this, okay? I will take this trend line, okay? We will not rate, so don't rate your trend line. And uh, here on common, we can place whatever color we wish. Let's say we will use, uh, I don't know, blue color, royal blue, and we will make it a little bit fuller. So it will look like this, okay? Now, watch this, guys. Usually, these kind of trend lines will show you excellent now moment price action. Because here, you see, this is a retest. But at this point, you didn't know when it will break or will it break eventually. So what we usually do is we place two. We need at least two touches to place a trend line. And then, guys, you see, at this point, it was broken. OK? So at this point here, this is not an, uh, just an ordinary trend line. At this point, this has become an inner trend line. So the inner trend line is a trend line that has already been broken, like this one. We had. Two touches, three, four touches, five touches. And on the fifth touch, it was broken. And then what happened? Watch how price respected POC zone. So this is daily, but it doesn't matter, guys. I usually do this on one hour or four hour time frame. But if you, let's say here, for me, guys, I don't know how many of you took the trade that I presented you with. It was basically, I mean, it was still a trend trade in my opportunity, although I reckon that I have been maybe in the opposition of 95% of analysts out there who thought that euro dollar will go up because Trump won. Well, to me, it was clear that dollar will be bought. And I said, guys, a couple of times on previous webinars, Dollar will be bought. It will be sold initially, but then it will be bought. And if you followed me correctly, I also said to long pound dollar if Clinton wins. Leon asked me yesterday on Twitter, should we bought pound dollar even if Clinton wins or whoever wins? I said yes, exactly, because pound dollar and dollar yen could be bought. I said buy dollar yen at 102.50 on previous webinar. So dollar yen for me today it was very bullish. But on euro dollar I saw a drop. And this was the place where we actually took a sell trade. You can read it in the analysis. So we will focus on our intra day, let's say intraday or intraweek inner trend lines. For example, guys, here we can easily see a trend line, right? Watch this. Okay, this is a trend line, okay? Okay, is it good? Well, it is. But we can also place another trend line. We need to be able to draw multiple trend lines, not just one. Okay, here. This is another trend line. Okay, so at this point here and there, we had two touches, and here we had a third touch. So from intraday perspective, this trend line has been more valid, guys, than this one. So how to distinguish which trend line is more important? Well, simply by adding other confluence points. 
Here, guys, this is bullish order block here. Okay, here. See? The height of a bearish candle prior to move up. So this is bullish order block. And watch how order block made a perfect confluence with a trend line. Let's see if we have some uh, maybe Fibonacci ratio here. Okay, here you see guys, actually it was very, very close to 61.8, some 15 pips away. Of course, we can extend this. Let's say we can use this one, okay? So now if you use this one, okay, from this spot where we place the trend line towards this spot here, this was the high here, you can see that it actually rejected 50%, a perfect rejection, 50%. So what does it tell us? Okay, it tells us that this spot where this trend line is, this is more valid spot than this one. When this spot will be valid? Only if this, if next price action breaks through this trend line, then we could see maybe some significance of this spot here. But actually, you can see it is already crossed bullish order block and actually it added to a significant, to, uh, to a strength, better to say, of this trend line because this trend line is strong. So when this trend line will be treated as an inner trend line? It will be treated as an inner trend line once the price breaks below it and it respects it. It doesn't close above it. So let's say one or two candles below that. If it stays below, then we can treat it as a possible inner trend line that will have the power in near future. Do we have any inner trend line here, guys? Of course we do. We have an inner trend line here. See? An inner trend line. And here, guys, again, here we see an X cross of this inner trend line and price. And you see what happened. Price went up and down here in, in the vortex of these two trend lines and it eventually broke to the upside. So you can see how these trend lines can be significant and can be indeed very strong. Okay, we can use also other examples. For example, we can use dollar CAD. Okay, let's use, let's say, daily time frame. Okay, here guys we can actually see that the price has been going to the upside and it's more of a channel like but for presentation purposes we can also place multiple trend lines and how I do it usually I connect everything that I see that it can be valid to me okay order block is also sort of a horizontal trend line okay that is important here. See? Here. Okay, this one. This peak. Then we can also... Do we have an inner trend line here at now moment? No, we don't. We have a steep trend line. I don't like to see this. So, how we should treat this trend line? This, when you see a steep trend line, guys, think about it as a potential breakout setup. Because these steep trend lines that are not shallow like this, shallow trend lines are always better. So if you see a steep trend line, try to actually treat it as a breakout trend line. So you can execute a trade. So usually when this happens and if it breaks to the downside, okay, this can be treated as a breakout setup. Usually it's done on lower time frames. But for example, if the price closed below this trend line and retested it on a daily time frame, I would assume that this is also an interim downtrend towards P 
pivot points and other parts of confluence. You can even use trend lines on five minute time frames. So when you place a five minute a trend line, usually you can trade it as a breakout. Okay, here guys. Usually you can trade this as the breakout. Okay, so you just need to make a triangle here. And usually traders trade five minute and even one minute triangle breakouts in order to make some pips. So here you can see how it how it is. For example, here we can also see a triangle, a sort of triangle here. Okay, and breakout. So what I'm why I'm saying this? So from traders' perspective, usually you will use intraday trend lines for charting. So you will use let's say trend lines on one hour time frame then trend lines on let's say four hour time frame you can use that for analysis purposes to show you some confluence points or you can zoom in to lower time frames for example five minute charts and try to trade to trade breakout of those triangles because as I say as I know uh, a lot of traders prefer to trade prefer to trade breakouts on lower time frame guys and I have showed you how to do breakout trades so we will not talk about this just we will go with those trend lines so here guys I mean you just need to spot it it's not that hard you need to have an eye for that and here it doesn't need to be perfect but it's it just you see, it's, it's very obvious that this is a triangle. So when you see these kind of setups, guys, on lower time frames, this is what you can trade. Simple trend line breakouts. Now, you will probably ask me, Nana, yes, but the problem is we, we don't know when to trade it. Guys, you know when to trade it because I have told you so many times before, but I will repeat it again because, I mean, this is webinar that is also uploaded on YouTube so other people who watch it will also find this information useful. You trade it when there is volatility guys. So if you see that there is a strong trend, you see here on this time Australian dollar was dropping. If you zoom out to 15 minutes or one hour you will see a strong trend to the downside. So if you see a strong trend to the downside, you zoom in, let's say this is example for downside. You zoom into five minute time frame and trade triangle breakouts. Why triangle breakouts? Because triangles are actually comprised of two trend lines and they indicate congestion in the market. After a congestion phase, you will see a distribution phase. So that is why I say, guys, go for those breakouts they can be very very good to your account and to your trading generally okay really I mean this because triangles appear in strong trends and generally are, are very good to trade so my recommendation is a lower time frames five minutes is the optimum during a strong trend guys you will find a lot of lot of triangles here Okay, a lot of triangles, potential breakouts. I mean, you just need to, to connect two trend line, two uh, points on a trend line. You don't really need to connect three or, or more. You connect two, and it does not need to be perfect. You see here, this is more like a running triangle, and look what happened. So try to spot it, as I say, on strong trends guys when you see that the trend is strong try to spot it down it will be beneficial really to your account those triangles can include sort of wedges or mini wedges on your chart or they can even include some sort of pennants and flags because pennants and flags are also congestion congestion points and we usually expect a breakout after those congestion points. Okay? 
and it doesn't matter which pair uh, but for if you're new traders I advise you to stick to uh, dollar and yen pairs those are the best to trade really so just try to see if there is a strong trend let's say on one hour time frame now we don't see I mean the strong trend because of this uh, US elections but usually here we have a, now a strong trend on one hour time frame so if you zoom in for last couple of hours on five minute time frame so yes guys you will see a lot of different opportunities to take trades on breakout trades not positional trades of these triangles that are comprised of uh, two trend lines okay I mean it, it looks easy and it is easy guys you just need a little bit of practice and you will be fine okay so for trend line to be valid at least two touches guys you need at least two touches for a trend line to be valid okay it's very important for you to understand this at least guys two touches okay here you can see five minute okay and here it how it looks okay so just watch this try to practice this and you will be fine okay so if you do the analysis without any trading then I suggest you to always place both uh, steep and shallow trend lines because steep trend lines will give you possible breakout spots and shallow trend lines will give you confluence for trend trades and don't forget for a trend line to be valid you need at least two touches for a trend line to be valid okay so at least two touches once the trend line is broken okay like this one here this becomes an inner trend line see so this is and you can rate a little bit forward to the right side okay so we covered the intraday trend lines I already explained okay so if for analysis purposes one hour four hour and 15 minutes for trading purposes go with five minute triangles okay intraweek trend lines are usually seen as trend holders okay so if you see an intraweek trend line or intraman trend line you will treat it as a trend holder usually intraweek trend line can be sp spotted and plotted on uh, seven days of price action okay so you just need to find seven days of price action so for example let's see here so from this this is 31st of October and this is 4th of November so it's like yes it's intraweek so seven five days of price action because price uh, is we traded five times per day so five to seven days of price action so this is actually an intraweek trend line you see how it was respected one two three touches and at the four touch we had a break to the downside okay uh, for intra month purposes go to four hour time frame and try to place a trend line that usually holds for a month time okay for example this one but this is more for analysis purposes guys not just for trading because you see it's 5th of October this is actually the 1st of November so this is an intra month trend line okay so connect two points let's see this the, this trend line actually has one two three four points okay four points here and we can make it like this to be more pronounced so one two three four five points at at the fifth point actually you see it was broken now this inner trend line is okay but you can also add another trend line inner trend line here and when price starts to retrace you will be able to add another trend line to the downside so this is good for analysis purposes because then you know and you can see what you can actually expect from the price what are channels channels represent the tops and bottoms in the price of a particular pair usually channels are support and resistance it's simply two parallel trend lines that follow price peaks to create an up ascending channel 
draw a parallel line at the same angle as an uptrend line and then move the line to position where it touches the most recent peak. And to create a down descending channel, draw a parallel line at the same time at the same angle as a downtrend and then move that line to position where it touches the most recent bottom. How I do it usually, guys, I try to plot, let's use blank template, I try to plot so-called equidistant channel. So for equidistant channel to show me the price, I need to see first the trend. So if I see that the price is going to the downside, I will go here, insert, channels, equidistant. And I will place, I will just place a value channel here. From tops, you need to connect some important peaks. So if you cannot, for example, this peak, you see here, it doesn't have a valid substitute. So it's, it's just one touch. It's impossible. We already said that it needs at least two touches for a trend line to become valid. At least two touches, right? So two touches is the must. So then what I do is I drop it down. I need to find those two touch, okay? I need to see the two touch here. This is what I see as an equidistant channel here. Okay, one, two, three touches. A small false breakout. Watch this. Here, guys, another fake breakout. Watch this. It's, it's, it's usually perfect. Watch how this trend line is actually following. It looks great, isn't it, guys? Now, another trick that you can use is so-called Andrew's Pitchfork. You need to mark the swings, guys. So, let's see the swings. Definitely, you can see that this is swing one. I will label it as one. Okay, here. Uh, okay, label properties. One. So, this is swing one. Point one of the swing. Watch this. This is point two. Okay, this is point two. And here, this is point three. This is point three. Now, you, you go to insert Andrew's pitchfork and select three swing points. One, two, three. And you see here. So that is how you plot Andrew's pitchfork. You need to have three swing points for that. So if you are a fan of price action, guys, you can use Andrew's pitchfork as a channel. So let's see what will happen here. So this is point one. This is point two. This is, let's say, point three. So we go to insert Andrew's pitchfork. Point one, point two, point three. See? So once this can be used as projection. So once this upper trend line breaks, the chance is that the price will respect Andrew's pitchfork. You see how it's done? It respected it from this spot to this spot. Well, then we had actually another re-entry. This was a fake breakout caused by US elections. And here the price is in the pitchfork again. If you want to do it on an empty chart, for example, you, you can also do it here. You remember my analysis when I said buy the dips on pound dollar? Because, guys, I knew pound dollar, it, it would go up. And you can always see a lot of trend lines on, uh, on my analysis because I really find trend, li trend lines important. This was the analysis of pound dollar. And I said pound dollar interim trend change to bullish. And if you follow the analysis, again, you could have made money, guys. I mean, these kinds of our opportunities don't happen every time. So that is, I really want you to follow me and follow as an admiral markets here to follow the great analysis and trade with respectable broker. Here, guys, I mean, you see, it's, it's not that complicated. It's actually easy to draw this and very, very obvious for me that this was actually a trend line holding. This was inner trend line. This was top trend line. And if, if this was broken below 23.50, it would have been, it would have gone down. And what happened? 
price never broke here it went above here and bang spiked to the upside and here the initial rejection of uh, after this analysis was 40 pips to the upside then on US elections it dropped it dropped here and again it, it went up I mean the trend is always respected so here for example on a pound dollar we can also use Andrew's pitchfork insert Andrew's pitchfork one two three watch this price has respected this then we had a little I mean a deeper retracement here and it's trying to get back into the channel if it gets back into the channel and closes above this trend line I assume that bullish trend might continue on pound dollar so Andrew's pitchfork is also a good way to actually use it in your analysis or trading if you know how to do it properly okay and uh, finally one more thing to say guys you can ask me questions then you know we have ascending channels in uptrend descending channels in downtrend horizontal channels when there is no trend ranging and equidistant channel that I showed but also you can use popular MA channels so those are usually EMA channels 34 EMA 44 EMA and 5 EMA high and low you can plot it very easily on your chart for example insert indicators you go to moving average 34 usually we use the same color uh, exponential high 34 and then insert indicators again trend moving average 34 low you see this is the channel also guys but channel comprised of two moving average 34 we can use five EMA okay we can use this let's see 15 minute time frame okay so this is 34 we can use five trend moving average five low and the same thing to high so this is five EMA usually five EMA channel is used uh, is used as confirmation for buy or sell in accordance to other price action analysis see usually if it breaks to the upside it will go up if it breaks to the downside it will go down so I like to see five EMA channel on some systems and finally you can use here 144 EMA of high and same here see 144 it's used usually for a trend so those are kind of channels that you can also combine with your own methods and analysis as a complement to your existing method or potentially if you want to create your own method of trading I would suggest 5 EMA channel as a trend confirmation and 144 channel as a general trend usually when price is below 144 we say the trend is uh, bullish when price is above uh, when price is above the trend is bullish if the price is above is below 144 EMA then we say that the trend is bearish and you can see that on 15 minutes it can give you some nice entries just by watching these two channels if you have any question guys of course you can ask me uh, I wanted this to be a little bit break from this intensive trading that we have had this week session recap then US elections analysis so try to spot this it might help your trading and if you're uh, if you want to do some research on those channels don't hesitate to do this maybe you will also come up with something interesting that uh, might uh, boost your risk uh, to reward or your entries uh, don't forget that uh, if you have any question you can ask me 
contact me for trend lines. Don't forget that two touches is the minimum, not three, but two. I know that there are some tutorials over the internet that tell you that you can actually you can actually uh, go with three touches the least. It's not true. Two touches is the least to have a good, nice trend line that might be either broken, that it will become inner trend line, or respected so it will continue as a trend trend line. Thank you guys for listening. I don't see any questions. So for any any other question, whatever, if anything is not clear, please feel free to send me a comment or send me a request for new maybe explanation if anything is not clear or leave the comment below the video so I can see it and I uh, so that I'm able to actually help you in your questions. If you want to follow me a little bit more just try to, to use this as a combination. So let's say put four put the uh, uh, five EMA channel with 144 EMA channel and try to use trend lines too to see how it's usually respected. So how we do this? Okay, so we will actually remove, okay, this is 34, so 34, 34, and 34, okay, so we will remove pitchfork, and we can actually add these trend lines here. For example, an inner trend line that was bro broken here. See how the price was respecting it below the channel down then inside the channel then below the channel and below the channel while still being uh, slightly below this uh, 144 if you see a strong trend then even this kind of trading simply based on entries on break of 5 EMA above the channel will make you pips and this is when trend is strong so use this information guys also for uh, possible uh, complementary method to your system see here you can also use trend line breaks in conjunction with these channels so thanks for your questions and comments I will see you soon guys uh, new analysis expect tomorrow I wish you a great day and great evening and talk to you soon cheers guys trade safe